Did you know you can change the color of the ambient lighting in your vehicle? In fact, using your system, you can change several of your vehicle's settings and personalize some of your features and services. Let me show you how. To get into settings mode, touch the settings icon on the bottom of your touchscreen. It's the one that looks like two little gears. From here, you can choose what you want to adjust. To change the color and intensity of your ambient lighting, press the vehicle icon here, the ambient lighting bar, and a screen with colored bubbles will appear. Touch the color you want, then adjust the brightness using the bar at the top of the screen. Slide it left to decrease and right to increase. If at any time you want to go back to the previous screen, just hit the return arrow at the top. To adjust your rear view camera display, press settings, vehicle, and then the rear view camera bar. Now, you can turn the camera delay on or off, meaning you can decide to have your rear camera stay on for a short amount of time after you put your car into drive, and that can be helpful when you're towing something and want to check your trailer. On select models, you can also change the visual park aid alert, which warns you of objects detected by the reverse sensing system to on or off, or change the rear view camera guidelines to active and fixed, which shows you the intended path of your car while backing up based on the position of your steering wheel. Plus, color-coded guidelines, which warn you of objects you are approaching while backing up. Fixed, which only shows you the color-coded guides, or off. And on select models, you can even choose to have the center line on or off. Still with me? Great. Then let's move on. You can also turn valet mode on or off. It's a neat little feature that gives people, say, a valet at a restaurant, the ability to drive your car without giving them access to any of your sync system options, like your phone or navigation. To get to the valet mode, press settings, vehicle, then enable valet mode. You'll get a message telling you to enter a personal identification number to enable valet mode and asking you if you want to continue. If you do, press yes, then type in your PIN and press enter. You'll need to enter the PIN a second time to complete the process. Once you get your keys back from the valet, you'll want to enter the PIN again to turn it off and unlock the screen. If your vehicle is equipped with a secure code keyless entry keypad, you can access your vehicle even without your keys. Just enter the factory code provided to unlock your vehicle by using the keypad on the outside of the driver's door, or set a personal code that's easy for you to remember. To set a personal code, touch settings, vehicle, and the door keypad code icon. Then follow the prompts on the next several screens to change, add, or delete codes. Any questions? Go to SyncMyRide.com.